Hey, 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 welcome or welcome back to Melinda's Homemaking Life. Yes, y'all, it is May the 4th and I am just now getting my um, Easter decorations taken down this week. We have been swamped and I maybe been a little lazy and um, a whole bunch of excuses, but at least they're finally down and in the garage. So first off in today's video, we are, um, as you can see, putting our Easter decorations away and then we're focusing primarily on the floors throughout the main part of my house. So I'm going to turn some music on and let you soak up gobs of cleaning motivation. This would be a perfect time to fold a load of laundry while you're watching or to um, get up and um, dust or something like that because um, this is strictly showing how I go through and clean up my floors. All right, y'all, you know how you have one of those aha moments and you think, man, I'm a little spoiled. Well, let me tell you, vacuuming this sectional with my old vacuum cleaner that's cordless, that is has the cord was a nightmare. I was fighting with the canister. I was fighting with the cord. It was heavy. But so you're going to see this. Um, canister like fall all over the place but at least I got it done and it still works great but I cannot imagine vacuuming with that heavy vacuum cleaner all the time anymore so I'm very thankful for my lightweight cordless vacuum So I finally got my new rugs and I've got them down so slowly but surely I am getting my house um, semi decorated. I still have a long ways to go but each baby step counts. Want to talk a little bit about why I am vacuuming this rug a couple of different directions. My good friend Melissa from Melissa Shireen she taught me um, in one of her videos that in order to get the maximum amount of hair, like from my animals or dirt out of the carpets or rugs, that you vacuum a few different directions. I will have Melissa's channel linked below if you're looking for any other cleaning tips or cleaning motivation. She is awesome. You're going to love her channel. Show me life. Show me love, make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love this is all we got Show me life, show me love This is all we got Show me love, show me love To my dining room we just put this rug down um, one day last weekend and so the room isn't really dirty but I'm just doing some spot vacuuming so that I can make sure that I catch any hair that may have um, a tumbleweed I have dog hair tumbleweed in my house y'all um, so sometimes hair blows into this dining room so I wanted to go through and just do a really quick vacuum just to make sure that there's nothing in there before I go through and start cleaning the hardwood floors. Sometimes life will push you down. 
moving right along, I'm into the hallway now, uh, making great progress. Um, you will see a bathroom, my office, and two bedrooms. I'm going to clean all of those in a different video. So really just going to focus on the hallway and then move back into the living room, dining room, and kitchen. I had a lady that used to clean my house where we used to live. Um, a little bit about me, I had a job where I traveled all over the place um, and I wasn't home much, so I had a lady that would come and clean the house. And she taught me this trick for hardwood floors. If you spray Windex down um, before you steam mop them, that will make sure that there is no streaks. The alcohol dries and makes sure there's no streaks in your hardwood floors. So I'm not sure if that would work on your type of floor, but it does a great job on ours. And I just wanted to share that tip in case you were having problems with streaking. Make you fall onto the ground. But I know you will turn it around. Oh, this is all we got. And I know you'll make a stay. Get into fears and lose your way. So a little bit about me and Melinda's homemaking life. Um, I am an empty nester who still works a full-time job. I'm lucky enough to be able to work from home. So the work-life balance is amazing. Um, I started YouTube because I was really bored um, during COVID and I love it. I love the challenge that it brings. It also helps me stay motivated to make sure that my house is clean as I need to film content for you guys. If there's anything that you would ever like to see me clean, um, be sure to leave a comment below in the description box. I'd be happy to get that done for you and show you the way that I clean those items. You should see the city lights tonight. I don't think they've ever burned this bright.
All right, guys, we're coming to the end of the video. Just wanted to show a couple quick clips of what the front part of my house looks like all done. I'm so excited I got this um, all tackled and under control and my Easter decorations gone. I am definitely looking forward to getting the back part of my house cleaned up. Um, it needs a couple of areas that really, really need some cleaning. So I'll be bringing that to you next week. Thank you so much for following along. And don't forget, Jesus loves you. I'll see you all in the next one.